is the warning signal helping save lives of villagers in the remotest of communities in the Solomon Islands. The Solomon Islands is prone to cyclones, flash floods and natural disasters. However, in many remote locations, illegal logging exacerbates the problem, causing unprecedented river flooding. The risk of having you know, these flash floods late at night when everybody is asleep and then if you look at the characteristics of our settlements, our communities, most of them um, built around floodplains because that is where um, food gardens are very fertile. They have provide fertile land and they have really good uh, products coming out from their farms. Right? So communities are usually located around river banks and floodplains. And so it happened in 2010 when we had a full village in northwest Coral Canal got wiped out. Garanga village in Isabel province, the largest in the Solomons, is one which rates high for risks of flash flooding. As you can see the geographical uh, view of this place is just um, susceptible to natural disasters like flooding because of the uh, uh, massive uh, soil erosion from the operation, logging operation and so the water level is continuing to rise. And so this is what um, we are saying that uh, this school is vulnerable to the, uh, natural disasters. A major challenge for the National Disaster Management Office is communicating warning and emergency messages to the rural communities. The Pacific Community, or SPC's Building Safety and Resilience in the Pacific or BSRP program and the Solomon Islands NDMO worked in partnership to find an innovative yet simple solution to overcome the communication gap. This concept then has been float, floating around. How, 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 do we, how do we get the early warning, uh, early warning messages to the communities? You know, considering the fact that we don't know how many houses in a village does have transistor radios. So if you use uh, SIBC, the Solomon Island Broadcasting Corporation, as the means to transfer, to, to, to disseminate early warning messages, how would you know if they have the radios turned on? You know, so these are the questions that have been going around in our minds. And so this question of the last mile communication is always a challenge for us, has always been a challenge. And so the, the concept had come up, why don't we bring the last mile to the first mile? So we came up with this really basic uh, simplified flood gauge. A piece of wire and some tubing was all that was required. Materials readily available in the Solomon Islands. This equipment is a very simple equipment. Uh, you can source the, the materials locally. The sensor of this system is installed right uh, at the river bank. And uh, that sensor, when it sends the flooding, it, it, it sends out the signal uh, to, to, to this alarm, where it's installed at the, usually a chief's house, at uh, the community. And so when this alarm goes, then the chief uh, informs the community that there's a, there's a flooding coming. Five villages in Isabel Island were then identified as high-risk areas. For the Provincial Disaster Management Officer for Isabel Province, who has the responsibility of over 27,000 residents scattered across rugged terrains, the flood warning system is a blessing. The flood gauges that we install, uh, I think, would uh, make uh, these communities more prepared. In the past, there is uh, no flood gauges that uh, were installed. and the warning of the flood. In terms of communication, some of these communities do not have access to a mobile coverage or the radio. So these flood gauges are the only means of communicating or giving an early warning sign to the communities. Community consultations were carried out in the five villages and focal points appointed to be the eyes and ears on the ground for the NDMO. Here we have established uh, uh, disaster committees in the villages to look, look after the uh, 
uh, flood gauges, as well as to communicate with the office. So most of the religious uh, established them, they are still uh, working. This committee really helped our office in terms of communicating to the office if there is any uh, flood or if there is any disaster. These are the people who are at the village that uh, could help us with those information or the situation during the incident or the disaster. BSRP and the NDMO have also provided training for the community focal points on installation and maintenance of the flood gauges. Disaster risk management plans and evacuation strategies have also been developed through the programs. The focal points along with the NDMO are required to conduct frequent evacuation drills to ensure the communities are prepared. This machine, and when it gets sound, uh, it's not really so loud. So we usually use the bell to communicate, especially for those so far, in far from this area. So we use bells, that, and also we, the committee, have to get to those places where houses were really far from the area where the massing is. The exercise is so very important and also it's uh, making the people very cooperative in moving when the committee tells them where to go, how to look after each other when the evacuation takes place. So I really appreciate the community and also my committee. Communities are taking ownership in caring for the equipment. They know how important it is. At the moment, to be honest for you, um, we feel that we are safe because uh, people who have installed these uh, flood indicators are specialists. And so whenever the water reaches that level, it gives us a warning that we have to escape to higher ground. So it gives us a chance that uh, we are safe. The newly installed flood gauges ensure that rural and remote communities in the Solomon Islands continue to focus on safety while building resilience to natural disasters. You know, just at the back of your mind that the people are safe, right? Through, the, through this initiative, you know that you've actually uh, enabled uh, people to change their man, mindset and, and become the first mile in the easily called last mile communication that um, that we've been uh, talking about all these years.